Yep. Why does? And he played it. He played rookie I six. This is complete craziness. I I, I can't bizarre. imagine this. This is bizarre. I don't know what Yan has been doing for the last five moves. Yan has blown this away. Rookie six on the board. So I think that Ding Li Ren deserved a ton of credit. Yes, Yana Pomshi is absolutely collapsing at this stage of the World Championship Game 12. But Ding has created some problems for Yan. Yan's created problems for himself as well. And now the game is just over. There's no way to save this king. He was just talking to himself just in complete disbelief of how he's just left the title, the World Championship crown, just slip out of his hand in this Game 12. Fabi, the momentum of the match will completely shift in Ding's favor with this comeback. Yeah, it's difficult to... Um, because I, on the one hand, uh, I really feel for Jan in this, in this moment. Uh, it's clear the pressure got to him. And I, I think that it got to him because he probably realized that he was on the verge of winning a game which would probably win him... probably win him the match. So... And with 40 minutes on the clock, not like when, when Ding collapsed in Game 7. Uh, it was shocking, but it was still very much associated with time trouble panic. Like, just compare the position before B4 and, and before F5. It's the same position without his B and C pawns. Exactly the same. He's just missing his B and C pawns. Besides that, the position is identical. We've maneuvered a lot, but, uh, but the B and C pawns somehow magically disappeared from the board. Very, very close in this game to winning the game and to making that huge step forward to becoming world champion and the weight of that uh, also can weigh on you it can get in your head a bit the excitement of potentially winning also a brilliant game i'm sure he felt like he was playing a brilliant game winning a brilliant game with the black pieces um the the whole narrative of it is in your head like i'm, I'm going to win a world championship match with uh, one of the best games i've uh, i've ever played you know just slowly outplaying a player as good as ding from an equal position, like just from the opening, equal, maybe even slightly worse from black. Uh, so all of this was in his head. I'm, I'm sure that um, this contributed in great part to why, uh, yeah, and I I can feel, I think all, all of us, everyone in the chat can also feel the pain of uh, losing, yeah. losing a chess game. We've all been there. Some good move, some good chance, or, or just thinking back on that position after a4, like, why didn't I just play a6 and let my... Uh, I mean, I, I do kind of see a move <laughs> to resign. <laughs> it suddenly came to me. Uh, it's the move knight to e5. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel for him. Even though if you're a Dingley Ren fan, you're thrilled. I think even then you're still upset for Jan just because of you know, how he's feeling right now. He's getting hunted and white is up a lot of material. So D6 quickly played and resigned. Handshakes. And that is it. D6 on the board. It is game over. Dingley Ren comes back in the match after a very twist, a lot of twists and turns in this one. Jan Napomnishi resigns in that position. Wow, we've got a match on our hands.